Uh, what is it, Gare? You know, I think um, I think the show needs to do an intervention on somebody, and it's not Artie. you got to talk to Richard Christie and ask him about his weekend. But no. I'll give you the setup, and then you can talk to him. All right. Down in Florida, he and his girlfriend, they're flying home. They get word that there's turbulence, so, you know, that's going to be a bumpy ride. So, of course, Richard needs to drink everything in sight. Richard puked all over the plane. Red wine all oh. over the plane. Asshole! All over the plane on other people. I said to him, "I said to him, couldn't you get to the to the bag?" And he said, "No, it just came on so fast." He said they landed, but they didn't have a gate, and um, and everyone on the plane is yelling. <laughs> oh, There's a sick man on the plane. They don't oh, know he's wait drunk. a minute! They they landed and they were on the tarmac waiting to get a gate. Right. Oh my god! <laughs> it's like a terrorist but you attack. Know what? The best part about the, the here's the thing I love about Richard: when people get drunk and they throw up. They always come up with another excuse besides the drinking. Mm-hmm. And Richard goes, I think that what happened was it got very hot on the plane. Right. <laughs> Bullshit. Richard, come in here. Yeah, but you know, like, who cares anymore? I mean, he's just like, like, what are you going to say about it? He I just, know. He drinks like a he fucking maniac. He should stay home. Why, that, you, why is he always on a plane? But or that a train. Never, that never even happened to me. And I, I don't recall that happening to anybody I ever tell, to tell stories at, at AA. Like, you know, like, that's No, and he's not even, like, ashamed or embarrassed oh, that he no, vomited. Oh, no, he'll do it again. No. Aren't well, you that's ashamed or embarrassed. I am, and I even asked Gary if I should. We should even talk about it because I don't want to get in trouble or anything. You know, well, well, you, you can't get, get in trouble, trouble for getting sick on a plane. You can't. Ah, you still. You sound like you're still drunk. I feel. Yeah. Yesterday was a rough day, but you have to drink that much. Okay, I understand. You're nervous about flying. You can't have five cocktails. You got to have fifty. Well, I think I lost count, and and I didn't even think I had drank that much. But when we got on the ground, I just man, the plane started spinning, and I got real hot, and and before I knew it, I was vomiting all over my shoes and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were on there vomiting, me and Christy. Richard, well, how many people were in your she row? She wasn't even. She was like stone cold sober. Right. It was just me. How many people were in your row? Uh. Uh, it was us, and something I hate to say it, but it made me nervous. There was a kind of a terrorist-looking guy <laughs> next to us, yeah. and that made me so nervous. And that's another reason I drank a lot. He was in our row. There were three other people he in our row. To drink. Was his turban dirty? <laughs> he wasn't wearing one. He was in disguise. Uh, I'm gonna fly. There's turbulence. There's a if terrorist. I, if I wear a turban, they'll know for sure. <laughs> uh, I'm scared of you, you fucking drunk. Well, <laughs> this guy was making me Excuse so me. nervous. Are you a terrorist? <laughs> Fuck yeah. you! You got yeah. vomit on my shoes. <laughs> I oh. almost said something to him because yeah, dude, I mean, he was he was shake this the the Middle Eastern guy was shaking. And looked like real <laughs> suspicious, and and was like grabbing everything around him, like he was real I'm nervous Mohajadeen. about something. I'm Mohajadeen. <laughs> did you say anything, Richard? You know, if you see you know, something, I, say something. I almost did, but I didn't want to seem like that jerk that suspects people of stuff. So you, know? mean, you wanted to seem like that jerk who vomits all over his own shoes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's like a, the kind of jerk he, he likes yeah. to be. I, I, <laughs> wouldn't you, if you were sitting next to Richard and it looked like he was going to toss it any minute, wouldn't you be shaking? Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> that's this is shaky, what I'm saying. Bro. Richard's scary enough. Ra- like, Ralph <laughs> you know, thinks you're retarded. To make you shake. Ralph thinks you're retarded, and that might be a little harsh, but think about, like, like even just now, you can't get uh, arrested yeah. for getting sick on a plane. Like, why would you get arrested? What are you talking about? Well, because that's... Like, what are you talking about? It's like biohazard that I'm shooting out of me. That, that's... Oh, man. Like, you're not supposed to Richard. do stuff like that. Ugh. Why do you think they put the bag there? Here's, you're not the first here's person what I'll say, on man. a plane. You know, the first time in my life that I would have to be wheeled off a plane in a wheelchair, that would be really a cause for concern. And uh, taking a train trip across the country and just so I could drink on a train... And packing a, uh, a bag full of champagne and other liqueurs so that I could drink with my girlfriend on the train. Like, that that's really alarming behavior. And you really should take a good, good look at yourself. Oh, well, I did. My New Year's resolution is to stop drinking at, at all during the week and only drink one weekend day, like a Saturday. So that's what I do yeah, now. But to get, to, get, to get, like, smashed, I mean, like... To the point where you, you can't function. You're still function. drunk on Monday. And you have to be wheelchaired off a plane, and, and you're worried about being arrested and biohazard and whatever kooky things you have. Like, dude, maybe it's time to just, like... Well, know, I you, am. You have a two-drink limit. 
Yeah. That's it. Well, I don't I don't have any more flying plans now, so I'm done. Yeah. So instead of quitting drinking, drinking you're gonna quit flying? <laughs> now what's yeah. the under Howard, what's the under over on when he pukes again? He'll puke before the end of the year for drinking, I don't right? No, I don't know any over on No, it's just, it's unless I fly. I don't get that drunk unless I fly. I just don't like I've flying. seen you plenty drunk. We weren't flying anymore. Well, we were all hanging out together having a good time. Oh good dude, That's- you 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 drink a beer every day, right? No, no, not no at more? all. You know I don't even drink beer anymore. Good. I only drink hard liquor now, like vodka oh, and good. stuff like that. <laughs> what? what? You sound so stupid. No, I am I only drink one day a week on a Saturday. Okay, that's okay. I'm cutting down. Hey, what he's saying is he cut out all the beer during the week. One yeah, day but... a week he has hard liquor. So, and... you... so did you what... drink this Saturday? Uh, yeah, we were at the beach, yeah. And then you drank on Sunday? Well, because we flew. <laughs> <laughs> you were at the if beach? We're, if we're not flying, I won't drink on a Sunday. What right. the fuck? Uh, Thank you. But my, the thing that makes me maddest about this whole thing is I didn't record mad. it, or the most mad about this whole thing is I didn't. I went down to get my recorder, and before I could, I, uh, I puked. That's a shame. We would have really liked. Yeah, to I wanted that. to hear the people screaming on the blank. Yeah, what did, did the people yell at you and stuff? They were they were saying, "Sick man, we got a sick man," and the 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 waitress or stewardess comes the down the aisle, <laughs> and she's like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come, do we need to get you off the plane, sir? And I was like, No, I'm all right. I'm all right. I'll I'll, I'll last. And, and and when you vomited, did you were you up walking the aisles or you vomited in your chair? Just in my chair. And you vomited on your feet? Yeah. <laughs> that's the, was, Howard, <laughs> that's the first time you vomited. And then he got off the plane and vomited some more. But it was loud on the plane because it was real quiet because we were sitting on the runway. And all of a sudden, you just hear... <laughs> I tried to do it quietly and I can't. When you say you drink, when you say you drink one day a week, uh, uh, do you drink the entire day? Uh, pretty much, yeah. Yeah, now you see, that's, that's why a lot of people say alcoholism doesn't have anything to do with the amount of days you drink. It's what it's when you drink, what happens to you? Like, right. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'll go out for brunch and have mimosas right. and then stop drinking and then drink, <gasps> ha- have a few at night. You're getting drunk twice a day. Well, no, it's kind of continuous. How about you can drink <gasps> on Saturdays only and you can only have two drinks on Saturday? Could you do that? I could do that, yeah. yeah do that, man. He's going to get some pretty big oh, yeah. drinks. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, this Friday, though, I have an Iron Maiden concert, so I'm going to have to move my day to Friday. All right, fine. Have two drinks at the Iron Maiden concert. You that's should it. drink to see that. Hey, that's going to be awesome. Yeah, a lot of people uh, can see Iron Maiden on just two drinks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you. Thank you. Okay, uh, is he out down to the two drinks for Iron Maiden? Yeah. Good, okay. Yeah, he's going to have two drinks. But that's here's it. the big that's question. A normal person. <laughs> what did you do with the shoes you threw up on? Uh, I just, I clean them off in the sink at the airport. Oh. And did the, they, whole, did uh, the whole plane smell from your vomit? No, because it was only mostly wine. It was just, it, it was just not that old. Like, it, it wasn't food that had been was sitting no, in my stomach. And there was stomach. no vomit bag in front of you? There was, but I didn't have right. time to grab and How many times did you not have time to vomit in a vomit bag? Well, I vomited on the plane, and then when we got off, I ran to the bathroom and vomited in there. Too. <laughs> and where are the shoes? You, you have them where? They're at home. You're going to wear them again, obviously. Yeah, I sure. washed them yeah, off. Yeah, they weren't ruined. You washed them off in the sink at the bathroom. At the airport, yeah. yeah. Well, why do it at home get your household full of vomit? <laughs> why not th- throwing them out never occurred? Because they're some of my favorite. They're my converse. They're some of my favorite shoes. Do you ever think maybe you vomited a little bit on that guy, the terrorist, the guy you thought was a terrorist on his shoes, and he had a shoe bomb, and you <laughs> and you actually I put it out. You put out the bomb. I might have saved <laughs> saved our plane. Yeah, who knows? So, it, Howard, if you see a, a Middle Eastern person on a plane and they look nervous and they're like fidgeting around, should you say something? They say you're supposed to, but I know your dilemma. I but, mean, But the guy didn't do anything. Yeah, he was fidgety and he nervous. Just, he was sweating and stuff. You and, don't like to fly. Maybe he doesn't like to fly and because of his yeah. religion he can't drink. Right, but you know. Yeah. They say if you see somebody who looks suspicious, what does look suspicious mean? Well, don't you, you think know. everybody else on the plane saw this guy too? Yeah, but nobody He's says there with anything. He's a great big turban. Nobody says anything. No, he wasn't wearing he a turban. He didn't have a turban, no. Oh, you, I no. thought you said he was wearing a turban. No. no. No, but it's just like, you know how they tell you on the plane to go, listen, if you see anyone who looks suspicious, you should report it to the stewards. Well, fuck, everyone looks suspicious to me. How does he know the guy was Middle Eastern? 
You can tell. You can tell, yeah. Oh, stop it. Gary looks Middle Eastern. Yeah, well, that's right. <laughs> so if you see somebody who looks Middle Eastern, do you report them? And then if you do, are you considered like a racist? Yeah. Yeah. And it's ridiculous. <laughs> I know. That's why I kept my mouth shut. Right. And that's probably everyone else was keeping their mouth shut. But I almost struck up a conversation with the guy just because I wanted to find out where he was from and stuff like that. But then... He would probably freak out on me knowing why I'm talking right. to him. Yeah, right. I wouldn't want you talking to me with your wine breath. Excuse <laughs> me. Uh, I have something going on next week that's a great event. Uh, so you trick him and see if he wants to be alive next week. And then if he does... Then <laughs> you you know. want to see Iron Maiden with me Yeah, this and Iron Maiden's next week. I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to throw up when we land. Wouldn't you love to see that? <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to blow up the plane, do you? All right, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, dude, get that under control. I, I am, and yeah. that was one of my New Year's resolutions to, to control All myself. Right. How about also never being wheeled off a plane again? Okay. Well, I haven't since Tampa that one time. Yeah, I mm. crawl off now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if, God forbid I ever had to be, like, wheelchaired off a plane because of my drinking, that would be, like, the telltale sign that I'm never drinking again. Like that'd be like, this has gone too far. Yeah, yeah. but see, I'm so jealous mm. of you, Howard, that you can fly sober and, and you're not scared of flying. I'm like, scared of flying. Yeah. I, I hate flying. I have tremendous anxiety. I saw a video. They had video on mm. the Bubba special of you guys flying down to Tampa. You yeah. were playing chess on your laptop. Well, you look can... totally fine. Well, well yeah. What, what am I going to do? do? I, but I'm, I'm a wreck. I hate flying. Really? Yeah, I hate being trapped in that thing. And I go, oh, I know it's going to go down. I know we're going to crash. And uh, but yeah. if you saw me, I'm, like, holding the armrest. I do and... that. So what are you going to do? You do it. Yeah. You just go. But it's a difference, night and day difference for me. If I'm wasted, I, I don't even think about it. it. The plane could be jumping up and down, and it right. doesn't bother well, me at all. You know, but you're vomiting on people and being wheelchair. Yeah, I was a little like... overboard yesterday. Yeah. I know that. All right. Thank you. All right. Thank all right. you. Right. Enough of your problems. we got a whole <laughs> show to do. It just I just want to know, I mean, how much did he drink before he got on the plane, and what did he drink once he was on the plane? But she doesn't even know. What did you drink? T tell the truth. Okay. I had three uh, vodka screwdrivers, three vodka and orange juice in the bar. Um, what do those cost, by the way, at a bar? Uh, they're probably like six bucks, seven bucks. Mm -hmm. Um. And then I bring my own shot bottles. I bought, brought five little vodka shot bottles that I had. Did you drink those before you got on the plane? Uh, while I was on the plane. So you had three screwdrivers, uh -huh. like doubles or just like regular uh, regular Regular size. Oh, and two beers at the bar. Right, in so the three screwdrivers and two beers. Uh -huh. You get on the plane and you start hitting the little bottles. Five of those. Five you had. Yeah. And four red wines. Oh, my God. Yeah. How long is the flight? Uh, two hours. Oh, See, my God. You're mixing, too. That's the other thing. Right. Yeah. Holy shit. That's a tremendous amount of alcohol. I know. and I it, But I didn't even realize I was drinking that much. Oh, the and wine. when you start to throw up like that, that means, you know, your body could just is like, we got to get it, yeah. this crap out of here or we're going to die. Mm -hmm. mm. And the wine was probably gross airplane wine that's like... Yeah, it was, I mean, it was bearable. By then, I was drunk, so I didn't care. <laughs> but wine puts you know me asleep. Amazing? For a guy uh, who hates flying, you sure do fly a, a lot. lot. But I love going places. That's my yeah. dilemma. I love... <laughs> well, go somewhere by car. Yeah. <laughs> there, well, I've been everywhere by car no, around Go here. there again. <laughs> Keep going until you really have gone 100,000 times. You know what would be great for your girlfriend? <laughs> uh, you, the two of you should walk to Kentucky. <laughs> <laughs> right. Marty's right. Walk. See, uh, you know who I'm so jealous of? Uh, John Madden. Because he travels everywhere by bus. He hates flying, and he's rich enough and has the time where he can. He has his own bus and just travels by bus. Right. Like, I wish I could do that. Right. You're the only person I ever heard say you're jealous of John Madden. <laughs> <laughs> I'm jealous of John Madden. Yeah, you know I'm really jealous of it. <laughs> Anyone with a bus. I, the Partridge family, I'm so jealous of that. Well, I I'm jealous to... of those little retarded kids on that short bus. <laughs> they got their own. <laughs> they got their own I'd even take a stuff. short bus. I'm jealous of Mr. Greyhound, the man who invented the bus. <laughs> Greyhound bus. <laughs> yeah. Well, Greyhound's a little extreme. I don't know if I'd want to ride that. Everywhere. I thought you stopped doing gigs too. I thought you were climbing down on the gigs with Levy. I well, that was a part of my drinking problem too, is flying to gigs every weekend, <laughs> and I'd get loaded.
But didn't you do you had a gig this weekend with him? That's what no, you No, know? oh. no. I, I flew my girlfriend down to Florida for her birthday. Yeah, that's and good. then threw up on her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Happy you're birthday, in Manhattan. You're honey. in Manhattan. You, <laughs> you hate to fly. <laughs> so you leave Manhattan to take her somewhere to some white trash fucking place in Florida. Oh, where do you, it was where beautiful. Do you stay in Florida? Uh, at a hotel. Well, the Where? reason Miami? at a hotel. We no, know in Fort that. Lauderdale. Are oh, you go down to Fort Lauderdale? Yeah, yeah. You can it was get an a... affordable hotel down there, and they got the ocean going. Oh, it was beautiful. Yeah. I mean, amazing. The the weather you can was perfect. Get a perfect. condo down there for like five hundred thousand on, uh, yeah. and like you can be on some sort of water, like a bay or something. Well, the cool thing was we yeah. stayed at this hotel, and the reason I booked this hotel is because they have this really cool bar. Yeah, and uh. it's a bar where. The swimming pool, the bar is under the swimming pool, and you can watch people swim in the swimming pool while you're drinking at the bar. It was really well, the cool. bar. <laughs> the bar's not under the pool. It's it's in next the pool. to it. Next yeah. To the pool. yeah, yeah. You can swim and drink at the Have same time. Have you ever picked your accommodations based on the bar? No, never. No, no. It's actually see a bunch of fat families <laughs> swimming. Yeah, you see people underwater. It's cool. You're right next. There's windows oh, that go into the swimming pool. You can pool. see the, the bottom of the pool, like you can see the inside the pool. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's kind I of cool. understood what he was saying, but yeah. you don't buy, you know, get the hotel because of the bar. I do. I do. I spend a lot of time there. I did my research, yeah. Yeah, yeah but you're supposed to be outside. So if you only drink one day a week, did you drink at the bar at the pool? Or you were like, I'm going to drink more because it's uh, the bar at the pool. Yeah, because we were on vacation. Right. See, there's always a, a, a stipulation. You know, there's always an hole. asterisk. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, you know, we would have only had one uh, day of drinking, but we were on vacation. We were at the Iron Maiden concert. We were on a plane. Right. We were. You know, and he doesn't drink beer. He just said he had a couple of beers. Well, you know, if you listen to this story, it's all kinds yeah, of. Yeah, there's beer, holes in it. But, yeah. but for when I'm on holiday. <laughs> well, I was drinking the beers because the, at this bar they didn't make the vodka strong enough. So I was mm -hmm. like, you know what? I'll chug oh, a few beers. Oh, they made them plenty strong. I'll chug a few beers. <laughs> and then what do you guys do? Like, what's your activity, you and your girlfriend? You just hang on? Oh, it was the most drink. relaxing thing. I, I sat in a cabana. My ankles actually got sunburned because I fell asleep in a cabana. With but my legs ankles, my legs were sticking out. <laughs> and the sun burnt my legs because I fell asleep. So my ankles are, and ankles. feet are burned up. Let's see. Didn't have no towels to put on the It's thing. a little hard to see, but. <laughs> He's all red. <laughs> And actually, you look whiter on your ankles. Oh, I'm, no, I'm white up here. Yeah. That's right. You're vile. Right <laughs> You're disgusting. <laughs> you really are. I drink, too. Uh, oh. But I just, we relax. I relax in the Didn't you go cabana. to Denver two weeks ago and you were wasted the entire weekend? Yeah. Yeah, so like, like you're so not you're doing lying it to us. You you haven't kept your New Year's resolution. No, I'm when we stay in New York. When I stay in New York and don't have to fly and aren't out doing fun stuff, then I don't drink. <laughs> oh, what? so <laughs> the list is growing, dude. What? We were snowboarding. It was a blast. You're not drinking one day a week. And you flew I'm again trying. for non-work stuff. I mean, like, wow. Well, that. That was because my girlfriend's parents had it, like a, a cabin out there, and they invited us. So. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you, he's going to be flying just so he can drink more than oh, one yeah. day a week. And you're planning already to get wasted at the Iron Maiden concert. Yeah, that I know I will, yeah. Mm -hmm. You were supposed to be down to two drinks now. That's going to be tough, man. This I've been looking for this concert for a year now. Yeah, so just you can't enjoy the concert with two drinks? Uh well we're t I'm t I'm taking a party bus with my friends there and stuff so mm. it's gonna be hard right and I would have two drinks on the party bus and then I gotta have something at the concert <laughs> and then the you're an alcoholic <laughs> you're an alcoholic you're, you're an insane alcoholic no. I am and I'll be the first to admit it but so what do you want to do about that you're just gonna I'm just trying to cut down I'm trying as much as I can well, how about cutting it all out maybe what was that guy's name Bukowski or whatever Charles Bukowski, Bukowski. yeah. That's the kind of drunk he is. Yeah, but Bukowski was an insanely talented writer. Well, he's never going to write anything. <laughs> what are you trying to say? He's just going to be drunk like Bukowski. Well, yeah, mean... he's not going to write. He's just going to drink. I just drink like Bukowski. I'm like Bukowski, <laughs> except for the writing part. <laughs> yeah, uh, you know, so is uh, F. Scott Fitzgerald and yeah. uh, Hemingway. But, but uh, Bukowski was a real derelict. He was. Well, he I'm was. Derek Jeter, except for the baseball. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Other than that, I'm just like him. After he became a famous writer, Bukowski still worked for the post office. I know. He was <laughs> and we're getting drunken bar fights. Oh, he was See, incredible. I don't get in fights. You're getting there. 
He you didn't know, get into fights at first either. Yeah, but you uh Who knows? You'll be at Iron Man, you'll be drunk, someone will call you a homo and that'll be it. <laughs> your girlfriend's do your girlfriend's parents like you? Yeah. They don't? Oh, they love me. I I mean I'm Keep I keep my composure when I'm around everybody. They can't tell you have a problem? Uh, no, just they hear about it on the radio, though. Hey, Ken, you're on the air in Lighthouse Point, Florida. I appreciate Richard's work on the show, but that Sheridan bar that he's talking about is one of the worst white trash tourist <laughs> traps in town. Yeah, I, and you don't want to see anything floating in that window. Trust me. Yeah, I kind of thought it was, too. I heard I about that place. I picked this particular hotel because of the extraordinary bar. There the, was... hotel's, the hotel's shaped like a ship from yeah. the outside. Yeah. Yeah. Everything's yeah. tacky about it. Oh, everything's my what? God, tacky. <laughs> tacky. they got little phony smokestacks going on. But don't oh, yeah. yeah. I, love I loved it. Drive up. Yeah, it, it's a throwback from the 30s when it tried to be deco, but it's not even good deco. Impeach George Bush, thank you. What uh, did it cost? Uh, I think it was 150 a night or something. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we had a good time. I'm on a budget. I gotta watch hey, out for he's that. He's gotta have money to drink, Artie. 150 and, night in South Florida, man. You're you're in a fucking garage. Yeah. And you know what? There was uh, he like, almost went back to that storage place. There was a German <laughs> wheelchair convention or something oh. in town because <laughs> what? There was like 200 people in wheelchairs all around the beach, like wheeling around the beach. Why and German stuff. wheelchairs? Because uh, they all had foreign voices. I don't know where they were from, but right. It was just, it was kind of odd. Anyone with those funny voices is German. Oh, they're they white and they have funny they, voices. They must be German. They Between the terrorists German. and the Germans, I was nervous and had a drink. I yeah. wasn't nervous about the wheelchair people. Yeah. You know, with J.D. Found it odd. John, you're on the air. Go ahead. <laughs> Hey, good morning. Boy, listen to this fucking redneck. He goes, he goes on to say that he threw up on the plane, but it was just wine. And then you get into the story, and he right. says, well, I had three screwdrivers, two beers, five nips, but it was just wine. That I threw it was up. the wine that made him vomit. Wine. And that's why it didn't smell. It was wine. Yeah. yeah it was only wine. Come on. <laughs> it did, his vomit like, didn't smell. I vomited, but the people liked it because it didn't smell. <laughs> yeah, they were fine with it. It my, smelled like rosé. <laughs> my socks were purple when I took them off. A fine bouquet. You vomited up the wine? Yeah. yeah and the vodka went, stayed down. <laughs> it went over I my sucked so on my socks for an hour. <laughs> <laughs> I could have rang my socks out. What'd you do with the socks? I, I have I them still. It. Yeah. You yeah. mean you didn't just throw them in the garbage? No. You, kept, you took them home? Yeah. That's They're my good. Simpson socks. <laughs> I got to tell you, my weekend was pretty dull compared to yours. Oh, yeah. Mine, too. Yeah. You know, with JD, you can't understand what the fuck he's saying because... Uh, He's mumbling, uh, uh, uh. and you can't hear him clearly. With Richard, you can't understand because you can hear him clearly. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's just weird. i got to take a break. All right. Thank you. I'm going to try and control myself from now. I don't have any flying coming up, so I should be good. Yeah, there you go. All right. It's just Iron Maiden you have to get through. Aside yeah. from that, everything's clear on my schedule for being uh, dr yeah. drink-free. Oh, and my birthday's in three weeks. Uh -oh. so I gotta be uh -oh. How old are you going to be? Uh, 34. Three? 34. Oh. Yeah, I'm I 33. Three, now. I think I'm three years old. <laughs> before you start, my mind is. Before yeah. you say you're not going to fly in two weeks, I see there's a fucking there's an asshole convention in Tulsa. <laughs> Do they yeah. have a pool bar? They got a pool bar there. I got the best <laughs> hotel in Tulsa. Yeah. I, I know the kind of hotel that guy's describing. Little castles. Yes. Like it, really, just every jerk off on the planet just rolling in there with like a I blow up it. doll. And, and I book five in special. Kids. I'm there special. You have to get that a year in advance. <laughs> I you never... hear a bunch of screaming at the pool. That's why he wants to sit down in the bar. I never saw such a nice hotel. <laughs> Do you know how filthy the pool must be there, too, man? I got oh, no, no. I got... well, they clean. Come on, they clean the pool. Yeah, it was. Adam, it you're didn't on look the dirty. Go ahead. <laughs> Whatever. Go ahead, Adam. Oh, hey, Howard. Hey. Morning. I wanted to say that uh, really, since the uh, Carson show went off years and years ago, your show has really become the way, if not one of the ways, to uh, launch a good comedy career. And uh, I notice uh, that Florentine has been off your show and off the channels for months. He seems to have voluntarily taken himself off uh, out of respect for the relationship with Robin. And I was curious to ask... Jimmy's uh, actually coming in in a couple of weeks. He's coming in. I was That's gonna right. Ask, uh, Did he clear that with you, Robin? He didn't clear anything with me. About that. Yeah, he's coming in here. Here's his note. I was hoping I can come back on the show the last week of March. So Jim, Jimmy, Robin's boyfriend, will be in on Mar in March. 
I'm promoting a CD I have coming out. I also have a charity gig I'm doing. March 24th, 25th, or 26th will work best for me. I don't really have anything interesting going on in my personal life to talk about, but I'm hoping that you will still book me, even though it might be a boring interview. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh. There you go. Well, you know... Speaking so he's, he's established a, a, a kind of a demilitarized zone for himself. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I, I heard Jimmy took himself off Miserable Men. I don't know. I think yeah. Robin put her foot down on that. Right. Yeah, sure. Yeah, that's yeah. weird. He took himself off. But uh, speaking of Jim, I, I can officially announce that he's accepted my uh, offer and uh, he's coming to the Middle East with me. Oh, that's good. Get the, the love oh. of Robin's life <laughs> killed. I, I said... <laughs> Jim at the same time. I said, Robin, <laughs> I said, Robin, do you mind if I ask you your better half? Because, you know, Jimmy's always my first choice with stuff like that. And he said he can. I'm excited about it. So Florentine's coming over there with me. All right. That sounds good. How do you feel about that, Robin? Do you think Jimmy is risking his life? I mean, this new love of yours is so pure. Uh, do you feel weird about it? And then like, I'm sure you're worried about him. Well, he's not gone anywhere yet. No. I'll worry when he goes. Right, did you say to him, gee, do you think this is safe? Would you go to the Middle East? Me? Yeah. <laughs> well, Robin, not for nothing. talking to me? Yeah. <laughs> I was, uh, was going to ask you because, remember, Bob Hope would bring Brooke Shields. And, uh... <laughs> Are well, you... then go get Brooke Shields. <laughs> you have to show a little leg. <laughs> <laughs> a little cleave, a little leg. Yes, yeah. they would love it. <laughs> now, is Ro uh, Robin, are you going to have a talk with Jim about what you guys, when he comes in, what you want to talk about and what can be talked about and not on the air? He brought that up, so... Uh... We're going to talk about that. Yeah. <laughs> big, big conference. <laughs> okay, let's review. You know what I if said If I talk about him, licking your taint, that's not a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> what I said was, you know what? When I started all this, I never thought about the fact that you'd come back on the show. <laughs> Jimmy, anything below the waist shall not be spoken about. You can talk about my titties. <laughs> okay, well, well, wait, wait. Okay, it's not about the sex act in, in particular, but it's like how loose your shit is after we do anal. Can I talk about that? No, oh that's God. been low. Not good. Not Anything good, huh? below my waist okay, cannot about, be spoken about. Okay, how about how about how about this? I coat your throat with that's my okay. DNA. That's, that's fine. okay. That's fine. That's all right. That's right. You're, but 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 it's like when you when you have a little mouth of zambuca or something like that, and you start to blow me, and yeah. it's like all warm on my balls and shit. Can I talk about that? <laughs> yes. Yes. Beautiful. By all means. Beautiful. So uh, yes to the motorboat. <laughs> Where did Fred learn all these things? <laughs> what? Where did Fred? learn? From talking to Jimmy. <laughs> All right, I got to take a break. We're way behind. Uh, thank you, Richard. Talking about your alcohol problem very, very honestly and openly. Uh, we appreciate that. Richard, where should we? Where should I stand? Um, right, um, over there. Here. Yeah. Right. Um, just a little to your right. 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 Oh, wait a minute. To your left a little bit. Okay. Forward or backwards? Uh, back. Hold there. Bend down for a second. Okay, we're good. Right here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's better. Okay, just like that. Okay, now hold. If you could hold right there, that'd be great. Perfect. All right, let's go. Hi, up. Greg. Hey, Richard. Hi. Seems like you've got a drinking problem. Yeah, it sounds.